for Uganda, a country that's seeking at least 8 billion rand for the next four years uh, to uh, support refugees that are being hosted in the East African nation. Minister for Disaster Preparedness and Refugees, Hilary Onek, says that hosting more than 1.3 million refugees has stretched the country's resources. Onek says Uganda will seek the assistance of the global community during a two-day solidarity summit on refugees to be hosted in the capital Kampala this week. UN Secretary General uh, among those expected to attend the event. Sarah Kamani has this report. Home away from home. In Uganda, a Burundian refugees dance troupe entertains guests during celebrations to mark World Refugee Day. At the same event, refugees who have already settled here showcase their entrepreneurial skills. Michael Majok fled his hometown of Rumbek in South Sudan three years ago. Since then, Majok, who was forced to drop out of university, has settled in Uganda and learned how to do some beadwork, allowing him to earn a decent living. The life here in Uganda is okay. It's better than that one of South Sudan because I ran out there because of war. Migambi Jamali from the Democratic Republic of Congo uses art to depict his people's exodus from the eastern part of the country, a region that has been ravaged by years of conflict. This is a woman carrying her children, running away from conflict. Then this is a man carrying a child, one on the back, one on his head, and luggage in his hands. They're running away from gunfire. This is how we ran away from home. Uganda is currently hosting 1.3 million refugees from at least five countries. The Ugandan government and aid agencies working in the country say resources are stretched to the limit and help is not reaching all those in need. Our infrastructures are overloaded. We cannot afford. Our services like health services are overloaded. Our schools are overloaded. We don't have the number. You find in one school I went to visit, a classroom of 50, 45 to 50 children, there are now 260 in one class. Where do they learn from? They go under trees. They have to learn from under trees. A UN appeal for $1.4 billion is only 18% funded. The World Food Programme has cut its food rations and classrooms are bursting at the seams. As of now, our requirement annually is about $2 billion. Of this $960 million US dollars is for humanitarian assistance. This is spread between the various agencies that are implementing refugee protection in Uganda. With several conflicts in the East African region, Uganda finds itself in the midst of a refugee crisis. It now hosts 1.3 million refugees, mainly drawn from South Sudan. The two-day summit will seek solutions on how to support these refugees live a life of dignity. Sarah Kimani, SABC News, Kampala, Uganda.